Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In this uh, video, I just want to show you how you can do the conversion from uh, the binary to decimal, from decimal to binary. All right, so let's see what we have to do here in this exercise. We have to convert the following from decimal to binary, 192 and 223. So let me just copy those and uh, we go here and I will paste it over here just to know what we need to convert. All right, so first thing you need to do, as uh, I already have explained before, you have to write 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. That's always you have to write them. Let's take 192. So I will write here 192. Does 192 contains 128? So that means does 128, is it uh, smaller than 192? Then is yes. Then I was put here 1 and then minus 128. So then here we have 4 and here we should have 6 and then here we have 0. All right, so the rest is 64. Then does 64 has 64? Then yes. Then I make 1 here and I make minus 64. Then I have here 0. That means all the rest will be 0. So in this case, the result of 192 on uh, the uh, uh, binary should be 1100000. Zero, 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 zero. And if we want, we can go to the calculator just to check if we have done the uh, calculation correctly. We go to the programmer here on the calculator. So we are on the programmer. I will go to decimal and I will say I want to convert 192. To binary, you can see the binary 1100000, so the same as I have as a result. So this is successful and this is how you can make the conversion and you can see it's straightforward. You don't have to have a lot of knowledge to be able to do it. So we already know how to do 192. Let's check now the second one, which is 223. So we take the second one, which is 223. Let's write it over here, 223. Does 223 has 128? Yes. So 128 is smaller than 223, so I make this one minus 128. Then I should have here 5. And then here we should have 9 and then 0. All right, so we have 95. Does 95 has 64? Yes. And then minus 64. This gives me 1 and 3. Very good. So we have now 31. Does 31 has 32? No, then we put 0. Does 31 has 16? Yes, 1. Minus 16, this gives me 15, correct? 15, does it have 8? Yes, so 15 minus 8, I will continue here. 15 minus 8, this will be 7. Does 7 has 4? Yes, I am put 1 here, and then minus 4, this gives 3. So 3 means 2 and 1, so this is 1 and this is 1. Then the representation of 2 to 3 on binary should be 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So let's check on the calculator. We go to the calculator programmer on decimal 2 to 3. Exactly, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So the same as I have as a result over here. So that means we could now successfully convert 2 decimal to binary and you can see this is the way how to do it. Let's check now if we want to convert from binary to decimal how this can be done. So the exercise that we have here is to convert the following from binary to decimal. Let's copy them. I just want to copy those two and put them over here so we know what we need to convert. So we have binary, we need to convert them to decimal. All right. Let's check. We have the first one, 11000110. One, one, zero, 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 one, one, zero. So those are eight bits exactly as this one. But always remember to add it from the least significant bit. So that means from we start from zero. So from this bits we have to start. So we start putting here zero, one, one, zero, 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 and then one, one. So those who have one under them, you need to add them. So in this case, we have 1 under 128, so we make 128 here, plus 64, because it has 1. 32, we don't add it, there is 0, this one has 0, this one has 0, we don't add them. Then we have here 4, so we make plus 4 and plus 2. So let's calculate them, 128 plus 64, this gives us 192, plus 6, so this, this to give us 192. 
A. All right, so let's open the calculator to check if we have done the calculation correctly. And uh, in this case now, we have to go to binary. And we write the binary number, which is 11000110. And on decimal, exactly, it is 198. So that means the calculation that I have done is correct. Now, we need to do the second one. So the second binary we have, it is 0010011. So if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So those are 7 bits. While here, we have 8. You'll count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so we have a problem here. We have seven bits. So how can we put them? Shall I start by putting here 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, or shall I start from here to uh, the most significant bit? So always, as I told you, you always have to start from the least significant bit. So that means you start from one. All right, so let's do that. We start putting here 1, 1, 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 0. This one, which is the most significant bit, always you have to put it because there is nothing, then it is zero. All right. So you start from the least significant bit and then you continue. So now let's see this, how it looks in decimal. So again, what it has one, we have to add it. So 16, because it has one plus, we have two and one plus two plus one. This gives us 90. So let's have a look if this is correct. So I will go here and we go to the binary again. We put 0010011. And you can see that on decimal it's 19. Of course, you see because the, the zeros which are on the most significant bit, they are not calculated because those are zeros. So th this is why it looks 10011. So the decimal is 19. So that means that the calculation that we have done is correct. So this is what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, video it's uh, how to convert from uh, decimal to binary and from binary to decimal so always remember you have to put 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 and then you just make uh, the calculation the way i have showed you so i hope that uh, this uh, video was informative for you and i will see you in some other videos